without objection. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As I traveled throughout my district this past weekend, from Middlesex to Carolina to Fredericksburg, the one thing I heard from folks was that they are deeply concerned about the health care reform package that we have before us. And they said, Rob, we see that there is a problem and we need to do something, but we need to do the right thing. We need to take the time to make sure that we craft uh, solutions that control cost, that maintain the relationship between patients and their doctors, to make sure that we keep what is good and what works about this system when, we're, when we work on those things that are broken. And I hear uh, many ideas from both sides of the aisle that I think accomplish that. And I think it's high time for the majority to make sure that they incorporate ideas from the minority, which I believe we have in common, to make sure we come up with reasonable, practical, workable solutions for the American people to make sure that we have that access to quality health care reform here in the United States that I know we can achieve. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What purpose of gentle lady from